Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Wax with Alex. I'm Alex from Ontario, Canada. Welcome back. Um, today I have what I've been warming from Friday, July 29th to today, Friday, August 5th. Um, so I'm just gonna go through it, tell you how I felt about anything, um, if it stuck out to me or if it didn't perform well, um, just so you can have um, a reference when picking wax or buying wax um, to use in your own spaces. Okay, let's get into it. I will start on Saturday. Um, so I didn't warm anything else on the Friday um, that I didn't talk about in the video. So on Saturday, July 30th, I finished off um, the green bar from Chase Rainbows. I'll put a picture up here. Um, from the Chase Rainbows collection. Um, in my front hall, I put two cubes in the Polar Panorama Warmer. Really nice. I love that in my front hall. It is so fresh. It smells like we've just cleaned, even, even if we haven't. Um, and I really, really enjoy that. So I think that will stay in my club. What I do have coming up is a massive club edit. Um, I'll talk about that at the end though. Okay, so I also put three cubes of Enchanted Mist in my living room warmer, the Stone Leaf warmer. Um, I, I have a note here that says, I'm just trying to use it up. I, I really don't like this one. Um, it It's about a medium. Um, it definitely has apples, which I like the apple part of it. And then the floral is a bit too heavy for me. I feel like it sort of gets old lady perfume versus uh, just a floral apple, like um, a peeling apple. Um, that's more of just a floral apple. It kind of stays true to the fruity sweetness. Whereas this one is just a tiny bit sour or the floral makes it seem musty to me. Um, I'll put a photo of that up here. If I don't have the bar, I'll put a photo up here just so you can see what it is. Um, I also put two cubes of Pacific Sandalwood in my girl's room. My daughter loves this scent too, <laughs> um, but so do I. This is one of one of my favorite scents for sure. Um, we thoroughly enjoyed that anytime we warm that. And it's, it's I'd say medium to like strong, like, I know some people say that one's light, but I can smell that, that I have no problem smelling that no matter where I put it. I can put it in my big open zone and it may be lighter in there, but I can definitely smell it. Whereas there's definitely other scents that disappear in the bigger zones. Um, but Pacific Sandalwood is is a good hearty medium for me, just, just so you know. Um, on Monday, August 1st, I put a cube of Autumn Road Trip in the bathroom. You know, we started a fall catalog. I thought I'd throw in some fall wax. Um, I really enjoyed this in the bathroom. The the spices and the fruitiness was like perfect for that location. And the breeze was kind of coming through because I have like a, a window in my shower area that we opened. So like the breeze is kind of coming through the bathroom. Really nice. I like that one. Um, I also put two cubes of Mahalo coconut in my girl's room. Oh, sorry, I had autumn road trip here. And so you can see I have one cube left. This is a fairly old bar. It doesn't even have the um, Scentsy scent family inscriptions on it or imprints. Mm. Oh gosh. Autumn road trip is really nice. I believe it's apples, pumpkins, and some sort of woody note that kind of gives you like the leaves. Oh, but it's like a sunny day. It is like warm fall. It's really, really nice. I like that one. And the cover is really pretty too. I like all the leaves. Um, so then here is Mahalo Coconut. I did two cubes in my girl's room. We really like this one too. It's nice. It's a nice, subtle, subtle, fresh scent. I really enjoy that. And especially on like a hot day, um, that one sort of, um, it doesn't really like actually cool you off, but it gives you the essence of being cooled off or cooled in some way or like you're almost near the water like some for some reason it's it's really refreshing i like that one i hope that comes back that's mahalo coconut so i also did two cubes in my front hall and two cubes in my living room of caramel vanilla delight um i don't think that one's for me it's okay i thought i would enjoy it more in the bigger zones because it might take away some of the the notes that i don't like that i thought were just a little bit too harsh but I still got them quite a bit. So I'm just thinking it just rubs me the wrong way because no one else said anything about it. So yeah, Caramel Vanilla Delight is probably gonna leave my club. I, I'm, If it's your favorite, I really hope you have it. <laughs> Scent is very subjective. We all have slightly different tastes. We've all had slightly different pasts. Um, 
we all interpret it differently. So it's, it's always interesting. Um, on Tuesday, August 2nd, I put three cubes of sugar in my bedroom. I put two cubes in my take stand warmer and one cube in my take me home warmer, warmer, warmer. Um, the little house that I have on the stand, the base. Um, I really like having the mini warmers on the bases. Um, if you didn't know we have them, we actually, I'll put a photo up here. We have bases um, that you can place um, either the glass or ceramic warmers. We have two types of bases um, so that you can place them on tabletop. So you can have them as a centerpiece or on a dining table. It doesn't always have to be in the outlet, um, which is kind of nice as well. Okay, sorry, back to the wax. <laughs> um, sugar, I did. So that was three cubes of sugar in my bedroom. Oh, I still, I can still smell it. But it smells so good. This is like my favorite. Oh gosh, I love sugar. Okay, you guys know I love sugar. I <laughs> can stop. Um, okay, on Wednesday, August 3rd, I put two cubes of walnut raisin muffin in my front hall. This did fantastic. Oh my gosh. It smelled delicious. And it didn't even totally smell how it normally smells to me. Um, but I don't normally warm it when it's so warm out. Um, the fruitiness in the bakery was so inviting and, and the spices were nice. It was not heavy in spice, but it does have a little bit. Oh, it is really nice. I hope this comes back maybe to bring back my bar or in maybe, um, like a collection that Sensi has been doing in their sales. That would be really fun. This one, you came in a brick for consultants as well for scent of the month when it came out. Oh, that's a good one. Sometimes I think I'd remove it from my club and then I smell it and I change my mind. <laughs> okay. Um, I also did three cubes and I finished off that bar that an old bar that I had of breakfast in bed. Um, I have a note here. My family really did not like that scent when it first came out. So I'd been, I just had three cubes sitting there. Um, I'd been trying to slowly use the scent, you know, sneak it in here or there, but my family tended to notice. So I just kind of went back to the back of my piles and on my wall there. <clears throat> so I pulled it out and I was like, well, it would go really well when I'm warming walnut raisin muffin, right? They're kind of the bakery and the warm and the spicy. Um, and I put that in the living room and it was definitely more enjoyable now than it was previously. And I don't know if my nose has changed. My family enjoyed it. They didn't say anything negative about it. They didn't, they didn't say anything. So, um, that was kind of a win. I was very surprised because for some reason there must've been a note in that. And I don't know if it's the pumpkin in the bakery something didn't work for us but the, this time that we warmed the three cubes in my living room in the stone leaf warmer it worked really really well um i did so it's about two and a half cubes ish maybe two and three quarter cubes in those sample pots that you get in the whiff box that we're getting again yes um i still had fairy tale pumpkin because i don't like the scent very much so i decided i've got to use it up what's the point of it just sitting here in a little sample cup so i threw that in my basement i chopped it in like a little less than half and a little more than half and I put the little more than half in my bigger warmer and the less than half in my mini warmer that I have down there um and that was okay it was slightly better down in my basement but that was probably because I couldn't smell it overly much um I wasn't going down in my basement that much that day so I got that used up and I'm happy about that because it's been sitting down there and keeps like giving me the evil eye <laughs> like use me use me <laughs> um and I also, which also was screaming at me to use them, <laughs> um, two cubes of strawberry rose that I still had in that clamshell I put in my girl's room. Um, I do have to say the rancid note that I've talked about did die down a little while warming. I could smell that it was off. It doesn't smell how it used to, but it didn't smell as bad as I thought it would because because of how it smelled in the clamshell. So that was a win. I was kind of surprised at that, um, that I didn't particularly hate it in here. So that was, that was pretty good. Um, I also did one cube of watermelon patch in my bathroom. That was perfect too. I have that, that was perfect. I have little heart eyes on happy face. Perfect. Um, every time we walked up, up the stairs, it just kind of was barely wafting out of the bathroom. And then when you went in the bathroom, it smelled so, fresh and fruity because watermelon isn't too like musky you know how some fruits get that musky it wasn't like that at all um really really good okay so today i didn't really warm much this week so i apologize um today 
Oh, and here's watermelon patch. I, I forgot to show you here. Here's watermelon patch. I think you can see, yeah, there's little watermelons on there. It's so cute. It doesn't really give it very, there, that's a bit more of true of the color. Um, it's, it's, it's almost borderline on, on candy, but I know that watermelon is difficult to make authentic because when you concentrate it, it's no longer the authentic smell. Um, so I understand that like balancing the oils out to make it seem a little more authentic, but I don't mind this. I don't mind that it's a little bit candy-like. Um, it makes it almost perfect for like bathrooms or kitchens. Like it, like it's really, really nice. Anyways, that was watermelon patch. Okay, Friday, August 5th, today. If I get this out today, it might be yesterday if, if I get this out tomorrow. Um, I did two cubes of, two cubes, two cubes of um, the Muppets bar. I finished that off in my basement. I don't like that one. There, something about the melons in that one um, just doesn't go right for me. And I also did a tester that like cracked. I went to go close it. It was an old tester um, from like a previous season, not this last summer, spring, summer season, but this spring, summer se season prior. I went to close it and the whole thing shattered and the, the little wax tester was stuck to the lid inside the little the little there's like a little cup inside of the tester pots that can come out um, so it was still in that little plastic pot but the outer plastic like the hard plastic all shattered all around it so I just I had to use it um, and I'd been hanging on to it so I put that in my girls room today it's really really nice and I know it's like maybe a cube worth of wax um, but I really enjoy it I've I have noticed it in here and I'm surprised oh aloha sister citrus aloha citrus sorry that's what I meant to say that it was Aloha Citrus. That's what the tester was. And I can really smell it in here, um, which totally surprises me. I do really enjoy the scent, but I find when I've had the wax previously, maybe they've been fresher pores, um, but that it's been a little bit too light and, and that's just in bedrooms. So um, I'm shocked that this tester, maybe it, because it's old, that this tester is doing a lot better. Anyways, I'm really enjoying that. And I also put this is my first go around of using Sparkling Magnolia from the Mother's Day collection. I really like how it smells in the clam. And that's how it smells over the warmer, but I can't smell it in my living room. So I put four cubes in my stone leaf warmer in my living room and I, I, I can't smell it in the room at all. I can smell it if I put my face over the warmer and smell, <laughs> but I can't smell it in the room and I really thought just hanging on to it would like strengthen it a bit but that's pretty sad because it's a beautiful scent I kind of wish it was in more body products um because that would be very nice for that kind of stuff that's sparkling magnolia there's like oh maybe that's a lemon I was gonna say what is this it's like a bud it's a little bit too fine to see um it looks like a little bud but it might be a lemon because I think there's lemon in here oh, it is really nice it's too bad that it's too light. Um, and I also put four cubes in the front hall, um, showered in flowers. Now this baby, this baby is doing fine. Floating around the front hall up my stairs. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, oh, it's even discoloring a little bit. It looks like it's kind of going gray. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Um, I really like this one. Showered in flowers from the Find Your Happy collection. A couple of years ago now. Um, yeah, really nice. I was considering taking this out of my club, but I think it will probably stay. But okay, since we're done, that was all I warmed for the past week, Friday to Friday, the 29th to the 5th. Um, so what I want to quickly say is I do have a club edit coming up very soon. Um, and it's going to be a huge overhaul. Uh, um, so it, it locks on the 10th of August for me and it processes on the 20th. Um, so before the 10th, I'll be doing this change, um, all of my selection changes. Um, and it's going to be big because my club is a little overwhelming. And as much as I truly do love most of what's in there, I have to pick what I can't live without and really downsize. Um, I don't want it to be a burden for me. I don't want it to be something stressful. I'm already tight on money right now. Um, it's just the way it is. Life is life. And I want to be able to keep my absolute favorites. So I hope you will follow me along with that probably heartbreak. But 
it saves me in the long run because I can keep my absolute favorites. So I really hope that you will enjoy me for that. That's coming up and I will have more videos as well of other things <laughs> that I find to share with you. I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, middle of the night, whatever time you're watching this and stay safe. Um, come back for some more videos and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.